Okay, so, uh, it's not... It looks a lot better on my iPad, I will admit. Um, but I actually have a roguelike roulette app now. Looks like I've got to use the iPad itself. And I've been slowly filling it out with a shit ton of games. Is that all of them? Is that really? I don't know, whatever. Anyway, uh, so... Let's spin the roguelike roulette. What are we uh, what are we going to play this time? That is an obnoxious sound effect. Okay, now it's gone and it is Huh. Sort of the stars of the pit. Yeah, that can't be all of them. I've been filling it out slowly, so I'm I'm still missing quite a lot of things. Um uh. But, uh, for now, there's this. Well, huh. Yeah, Sword of the Stars of the Pit is an old roguelike. R really old. I'm gonna turn that off. I haven't played this in years. I used to play it on the train. We'll see how this goes. It'll be fun. So anyway, that's going to be the uh, the new wheel for a little while. Uh, I'll keep adding to it, um, but it you know it's a little bit here and there. Let's get rid of the BRB. Do I have all the DLC for it? I believe I do. Yes. I've been. Um, yeah, I should have all the DLC unless they've been adding more that I don't even know about. Uh, let's see. I know they were putting out stupid amounts of DLC for, like, the longest time. Let's see. What's my download speed? Uh, I've capped it at 25 megabytes a second. It can go faster. Um, it can go much faster. But, uh, that usually kills the stream when it happens. So, I don't want to do that. Anyway. So this is a traditional roguelike. I'll do a couple runs. We'll see how it goes. Might have to roll the tutorial though. It's been a while. Check the recipe on the wiki for the pit to know what to grab on my my run. Man, I don't I barely even know uh what is Entailed in sort of the stars of the pit. I don't really want to mess around with like research beforehand That'll get that'll be a problem. Oh, we're listening to po Pokemon mystery dungeon for that cute Okay, our Buddha for rough colony on the edge of human controlled space a retirement home for something but peace is not their fate. A deadly plague breaks out, ravaging the few established cities of Arbuta 4, turning its population into twisted, horrible ghouls. It's probably a little loud. I'll turn it down as soon as I get the chance. There's no cure in human science. The last desperate hope is the rumor of an ancient alien facility built by the Skulka, and hidden high in the savage Feldspar Mountains. If the pit is there, and you can survive exploring it, you might find the source of this plague. I'd have a chance at finding a cure. Maybe it's real. Maybe it's just another tall tale they tell on the rim of known space. You can't be sure of anything. Except the fact that every expedition into these mountains has failed to return. That nothing creates death better than the Skulka. So is this my first time in the pit? Yes and no. I used to play this, like... I used to play this, like, eight years ago. Uh, I don't remember how to play, though. It has been far too long. 
So let's see if I can switch to full screen. There we go. Oh, uh, I don't like it when it does that. Uh, let's see. Confirmations. Um, full screen desktop. Okay, there we go. That's a little bit better. I'm going to turn that down. Gamepad. Don't care about those. Okay, main menu. And now I've got to mess around with my second monitor because it has been thoroughly destroyed by things. There we go. All right, well, I guess I've already done the sort of introduction on this one. So let's just do a new game, throw it on easy. Reduces the number of rooms per floor. Skips even numbered floors. Wow. Let's do quick, maybe. maybe? And easy. So we have Marine, Engineer, Scout. Uh, this is a nightmare to look at. Ranger. Warrior. Seeker. Striker. They just get more complicated as you go along, don't they? Lich. Medic. Marine. I feel like I should just Marine. For this one. And we'll go from there. Okay. So I've... Got WASD to move around. Go Lich. I should probably learn how to play first. Can I kill the bunny? I've killed the bunny. It was worth a not insubstantial amount of EXP. How do I pick up items? Marine raw meat. Maybe I do need to do the tutorial. Uh, save and exit. Start tutorial. Okay, press enter to continue. WASD, got it. We're gonna kind of speed run this one. Press G to pick up an item. Stick in your backpack. G, to, G again to view your inventory. There we go. Okay, so I gotta use a key card to open it. I thought it was G again to open up my inventory. I guess not. So we can do equip, add shortcut, drop, destroy. Uh, and then med kit, rations, and okay. So we've got the armor on. So G is G is pick up items. Oh, walk up to a locker, press space to open it. Okay, so we have like a skill based system. Uh, kind of. Oblivion Morrowind style? That could be interesting. Okay, you got some war bread, cooked meat, pick it up now. Probably gonna tell me how to make a sandwich. Okay, so combine... Combine craft. Attempt unknown recipe. Sot switch. A fine multicultural sandwich. Okay. So we can find recipes as we go along. Okay, so it's telling me about food. So now he's telling me I'm hungry. Well, let's eat the sandwich. I guess we probably need to eat the uh, rations, too. I don't think you normally run out of food that quick. Let's try a little combat training. Okay, combat dummies. Tab to change weapons. F to fire an attack. Arrow keys allow you to select a specific target. Cool. Uh, let's get, out, get you out of here. Do I have the gun equipped? And the knife. There it is. I said melee attack you. He wants me to stab the dummy. If I can. Okay, well. All right, Abe. You smack that. So now he wants me to shoot these ones. Good Pistol good. damage. That is one. All right, Abe. Fancier toys. I think I've got the basis for it. Get 
Okay, so use the arrow keys to move your target reticle. I guess I'll just do this. Oh, I see. And then I think I still have to equip the grenade first. Yeah, there it is. Have to throw. There we go. That's scary. It should be fine. But it's okay. Grab this. Assault rifle. Alright. Hold left control while selecting targets. I see, so I can shoot multiple things at a time. That's neat. There we go. I guess I have to... You have to pick three targets. Shotgun. Same deal. I, I feel like I should do this all, even if it's not maybe the most helpful. Shoot everything with the shotgun. Okay. Well, good with that. R to reload. I can also pick lock. So I have to shoot... I have to shoot the door down, right? That's what he was telling me, yeah? Or maybe not. Maybe he wants me to pick the lock. Sorry, I'm trying not to read what he's saying. I'm trying to go real quick so we can actually do things. Okay, so I can add right-click... No. Right-click, add to shotgun. Okay, so accuracy's gone up. This vial mod is a good one. It makes your gun more accurate. But vial mods do random stuff. Okay, so that's our upgrade system. Moving targets now. These robots. Okay, so the robots are supposed to move around. Doesn't matter too much. Okay, I haven't taken any damage, but he wants me to heal myself anyway. Use a med kit. It's not going to do any good. Yeah, I think I was supposed to put it on my assault rifle or my pistol, but I don't care. Of course, son. You don't know if you get lucky and are feeling all heroic and stuff. You go over there. And... So I can get a, I can get a friend. Sometimes I bet this is going to backfire. I'm here to give you some help. Will you allow Her Herbert to help you? Yes. Okay, Herbert is now your ally. Oh no. Having Herbert around is going to slow this down considerably, isn't it? Okay. So when I'm in, in combat, I will alternate between both characters. Well, that's fine. Proceed to the next room. Oh, so... Oi. There's a lot of flavor text. Okay, press B to see powers list. Red action, discipline action on the top, right click heal, gotcha. So P for powers, heal, add shortcut, five. Okay, P, gotta do war mind, which one's war mind? War mind, life drain, add shortcut. There's a lot more to this than I thought there was going to be. Okay, select fire from your manifestation. Gotcha. So, same deal. P, manifestation, fire, add shortcut, seven. That is a little bit excessive. Alright. So, we're almost done. Med bay. Use this. I'm sorry that this is kind of... Dry. What we've got here is a scale model of some of the technology that Okay, I've already used the med bay. Gotcha. Well, let's get out of here. One last thing. There's a little icon right beside you. Here's your little 
Slot stack. Look, have a look. So click on this icon. There we go. Slot stack. Messages, recipes, gameplay, gamepad keys. These are the weapons that I have in my inventory or have seen. I'm not entirely sure. All right. Okay, we're good to go. So tutorial complete, start a new game to test your skills. Cool, new game, easy. Let's leave it on quick just because. And start a marine run. I erased my previous one, but that's okay. Uh, let's see, do I have, I have a blade, cool. Take that, whatever you are. It's a bunny, dumbass. What is this thing? What is this? I don't know. Well, time to just murder murder rabbits. Bird will never forgive me, but that's okay. They are... They have no sense of survival. And I will gladly kill them all and just carry meat around. Okay. Sostex data is ke kept between runs. You have that going for you. That is helpful. So there's a line of sight. I almost kind of wish I could turn off the line of sight setup in this game. I understand why it exists, but it's also kind of confusing. Oh, I forgot how butts the, uh... I forgot how butts the, uh, the environments are in this game. It's got a lot of depth, but, uh, oof. Okay, we get bone slivers. And a rot pile. I don't- ow! Okay, note to self, don't stand in the rot pile. How do I- how do I waste a turn? Can I- I'm gonna check my controls for a second. Inventory, slot stacks, slot stacks, gameplay, key, keys. Okay. Gooey, I don't care about most of these. Turn, target, interact, map. Skip- skip turn is X. That's what I need. Ow! That was a little bit more than just a turn. Oh, right! I forgot. Um, I have like a move thing before I run out of turns. So I can move twice before I get hit. At least the line of sight is done well. Yep. No, this game, this game has some good ideas with them. Bypass retina lock. I'll try it. Alright. Uh, we get a purifier. I'm not sure what like half this stuff does. We'll find out. Okay. So this game is really quiet now that we're into game into the game. Aw, uh, can I go to the slot sticks? I guess we'll just turn it up. Because, yeah, the main menu is wicked quiet. Now that we're here, it's like... completely silent. Well, that's fine. So I'm just gonna probably run around knifing things. Okay, so I can't move diagonally. That is, that is not an ability of mine. That's interesting, a, uh, a roguelike... ...meant to be played, uh... ...on WASD. That bunny is probably not coming back. Okay, so the, the rabbits... ...down here have survival sense. Okay, so it looks like attacking also costs some move action. I can't move twice and attack. That's not how this one works. Wait, the bubbling piles are loot, by the way. How do I loot them? Oh! That's how I interact with them. Okay, thank you. I assume can't interact with corpses. Bunny has no survival sense! I will, I will kill it and take it for food. Now, do I have to face these things? No, I guess I can just walk on them. Where's the HP? It's the tiny little bar in the, the corner. Okay, rotten cheese. Hey, I don't know if I'm gonna do another run of this one, but this is like one of those elder roguelikes that have been on Steam for like... years? Like, this kind of precedes the indie game movement. Um... And so I kind of wanted to, uh... give it a go before... Like, we got too far away uh, from when it came out. Oh, this rot pile is already done. This looks interesting. It's not a bad roguelike. It's just uh, ancient and very dated looking.
Like, I actually kind of use this game's gameplay as, I'd say, a reference for uh, what I'd want out of a um, an old-school roguelike. Uh, just in terms of, like, the skill system. The user interface is simpler. Oh, by the way, I should level up. Okay, so I've got three stat points and some skill points that I can put into things. And holy hell, we have a lot. What do you guys think I should go for? Um... I should probably get the healing power. Skill level 20. Ugh. So it'd be better that I put points into telekinesis, maybe. But when am I going to level up? When I remember. I'm sorry, I forgot. Uh, so do we go... Do we go with powers, or do I just... So most of these I can level up just by using them. What does the 35 mean? Oh, base level plus stat. Gotcha. Manifestation has food generation, so that's kind of handy. Okay. Um, so let's maybe go down manifestation. Let's put one into manifestation and redaction. It's going to take a while to get them up to a, a not shitty point. Melee. Now, is melee fist only, or is that all melee attacks? I don't know. I feel like I should probably also put points into foraging and, like, lockpicking. As we'll work on those. And do we want... Oh, melee is fist, which is useful since most weapons have durability. Oh, that is good to know. Okay. Well, in that case, do I put points into... Some of these things. Unfortunately, the tooltips are kind of iffy. Brains, if I do power... Let's do that for now. I don't know if that's a good idea. I'm sure all of this is bad. But we're good. Okay, I'm not taking too much damage. We got moldy bread. Oh, good. That's that ticket! So what's the maximum level on skills in this game? Is it 100 or no? I don't know. I'm going to do a series on Master of Anima. Is that a roguelike? I, I think I've heard the title before, or the name before, but like... The problem is there's an insane amount of uh, roguelikes out there that I will probably never get the chance to cover. For one, I'm trying to cover most of the roguelikes that I own. Because um, I'd like to... Uh, I'd like to play every roguelike at some point. Is there... I do have the crowbar. Let's try the crowbar. I wonder if the crowbar is better or worse. Okay, there's a map. Ah, so it's this thing to go down. Oh, it's not even out yet. Then I guess I haven't heard about it. Also, it looks like the melee skill is useful because it also applies to stuff like crowbar. So I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, I... I guess I will? Maybe? I don't know. Now, is there a penalty to lockpicking? Or can I just keep lockpicking forever? Uh, yeah. It looks like it could just lockpick forever. It's just only a problem if I'm locked in, in somewhere. Ruined locker. Well, it is now a dead locker. Well, I guess I might as well uh, unlock every door as we go by. I mean, it's worth a fair amount of EXP. Oh, there's a chance it'll, it'll seal or have an alarm. Oh, that's good to know. Do we have some kind of critter near somebody, somewhere? What's this thing? Charge hub. Okay, so we get a purifier. All items are fully charged. 
What's the critter that I was seeing? I have no idea. You spot a nearby disruption trap. Whoops. That's my health, yeah? Yeah. I'm like not taking da- I'm kind of confused about that. But that's okay. Let's see. Uh, pry open footlocker with the crowbar. Sure. So weapons have durability in them. Digital assistant. Another ruined locker. How do I inspect? Okay, let's check slot stacks, gameplay, not gameplay, gamepad keys. There's interact. Is there like a look button? Screenshot, HUD, help, zoom. But it doesn't look like there's a... Uh... It doesn't look like there's a straight up in interact. So really what I can do is maybe break the locker. Oh, it does give me some... Uh... It, it does give me some experience for breaking it. Let's pry open the ammo crate. I'm gonna try and stay away from... Wait, can I break it now that I've... You can break it once you've busted into it. Nothing useful found. Get out of here. I like it how it makes like a weird noise as it quote-unquote dies. I'm not... I don't actually understand. Okay, so I've leveled up. I should probably make the most of that. Okay, so we want... Redaction. Manifestation. So that helps a little bit. I've still got some more. I, I feel like foraging and lockpicking are probably the best things that I can put points into immediately. At least for a little while. I'm just gonna put... Summon to power. The sooner I can get some, some like, manifestation and stuff, the better. Strength expands inventory slowly. Finesse allows you to hit with stronger, even unfamiliar guns and hit, be hit less. Oh, there's a three times fail. Okay, that's helpful. The best weapon is your fist, because they regenerate. Really? So I, I should be hitting things only in melee. Okay, bunch of grenades, bunch of ammo. What's this stuff? Ruined lab stations. Not anymore! I guess I should probably deal with the rat. It's weird playing one of these games without a really visible uh, grid. Why I keep breaking everything. But I will. Crowbar is damaged. Okay. Do we get repair kits at some point? Let's see. Durability. 104 out of 105. Oh. That's less of a problem than I thought it was going to be. I'm just going to run around lockpicking everything. We found a bed. And I guess because I did that, my EXP has... Or not my EXP, my speed has increased considerably. Well, I don't think I have much of a reason to sleep in a bed. Okay, the lock is permanently disabled. I don't know what a shadow bat is, but I'm going to just wail on it. It looks like it was worth a lot of EXP. So, I pretty much have no immediate reason why. I shouldn't just, uh... I have no immediate reason why I shouldn't just, uh... Try and open every door. 
I might have to worry about more things in the future. Minus 25 Psy. Oh, these bats are mean. I assume you get Psy back just by doing stuff, though. Okay, nothing on the ground. And I got a message in Discord, so I should probably pay attention to that. Oh. Nope, somebody else pinging me in one of the many chats. Don't... Well, eh, it's fine. Okay. What is this thing? A McClus clump. Well, it has exotic proteins and shrooms. Sweet. Okay. Lock picking skill upgraded. I really like the uh I I like games where you uh you increase your skill based on using them. The games games that have that always make me really happy. Oblivion, Morrowind, both of those had it. And it just was okay, key to the floor you can open most locked doors. Hey, helpful. Um but I I don't know, I just enjoyed that system in those games. Because it was much more fun, kind of, having my skills passively level up as I went around than, like, putting points into them. And they never made a whole lot of sense to me just putting points into things as the primary way you level up. What I do. 